Today's history lesson is about Sylvia Mendez. She's a civil rights activist and nurse. And as a kid, she was the center of the school segregation case, Mendez versus Westminster. Here's how it all went down. Sylvia and her family lived in Santa Ana, California. In 1944, her parents tried to enroll Sylvia and her brothers into a school, Westminster Elementary School. The school didn't admit Hispanic kids, so they turned the family away. Sylvia's parents were told to enroll their kids in the school specifically for Hispanic children. They were not cool with that. They appealed the decision unsuccessfully. They were not going to allow the segregation laws in schools to affect their kids. They took legal action. Four other families filed a federal lawsuit with them. David Marcus, the civil rights attorney, took the lead. He argued that segregating children of Mexican ancestry was violation of Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. He also said that it was detrimental to their mental health, making the kids feel inferior, also interfered with their ability to learn English. In 1946, the judge ruled in favor of Mendez and the other families, and it got appealed by the school district. Several organizations joined the appellate case, including the ACLU, American Jewish Congress, Japanese American Citizens League, and the NAACP, presented by Thurgood Marshall. And the appeals court upheld the decision, ruling in favor of Mendez. And guess what? This case paved the way for the landmark 1954 case, Supreme Court case, Brown versus Board of Education. Jorgen Marshall used a lot of the arguments that he used in the Mendez case in the Brown v. Board of Ed case. Sylvia went on to be a nurse for 30 years, and after she retired, she taught others about her case. And in 2011, President Barack Obama awarded her with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. So as we head back to school, let's think of all of those who have fought to make education more equitable and accessible to all.